Hey yo, this is Yarl Sweet Joel, and in this video I'm going to show you the secrets of the Forgotten Names Unmarked quest down in the Midden. So you're going to head down to the Midden Dark underneath the College of Winterhold. There you can find the investigator's key and the incident report. Of the same kind you and then head to the Arcanium, what? or if you don't get the key, have your follower open this master investigator's chest in the Arcanium. Back off. Be careful, because you could get a bounty from Yurig seeing you. That it? You don't want him taking the rings from you, because you couldn't get him back. But these are the ornamental rings of the four missing <coughs> apprentices. So you grab all those. Now I'm gonna head to White Run, the classic duplication location, and drop all four rings. Now go into follower command mode and have them pick up the rings. You might need Janassa or somebody who will pick up stolen items because it looks like they're stolen. Now head outside, immediately go back in, Now when you come back in, you're going to find them on the ground, so take those, and then get in your followers in inventory, and take the other four back, so you're going to end up with duplicates of the four ornamental rings, ball winds, Katarinas, Pithies, and Troys. So, see, I got two of each. And these are in miscellaneous, by the way. Now head back down to the mid and dark, to the ritual room, with the Daedric relic in the center. So there's the mid and incident report tells the story of the four missing apprentices. Now, on the Daedric relic, it's going to tell you to put the rings in a certain order, place those. Notice the Daedric alphabet for letter for O, Oat, which stands for Oblivion. And once you put the four rings on, you get this interesting visual here with the four skulls. And then Velik Sane appears. He's a pirate stuck in Mundus, which is a plane of Oblivion. Now you can either choose to fight him or take his treasure map. Now, you got a choice to make. If you fight him, you can get his, get in his inventory. Don't have really much that great danger heart. But you can also make him into a dead thrall, which could be pretty interesting. Or let him live. Notice how his name is misspelled. The two instances there. But you let him live, he vanishes. You can kill him. You can't get the treasure map, kill him, but his body's still going to disappear. So here's the treasure map. So go down near Pilgrim's Trench. Apparently his ship might have went down. The, the Imperial Galleon might be in the Pilgrim's Trench. But right underneath the Shrine of Talos, you're going to find his treasure chest. It's right south east of the Pilgrim's Trench. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of treasure here, but you could either take the treasure or get his dead thrall. I think the dead thrall might be more interesting. But no matter what, you're still gonna have those four ornamental rings. You can't wear them because they're in mis miscellaneous, and they ca they got a different weight than other rings, and they ain't worth anything. But cool to have. So you get in this locker, and there you go. You still have all four of the ornamental rings, and whatever you cho chose, treasure or the thrall. Like, subscribe, enjoy!